Hello and welcome back to the lab. Just have a short little video for you today. Um, about four months ago, I wanted to measure the distortion at the output of my 200 CD oscillator using my 339A distortion measurement set. When I discovered that the distortion measurement set has a problem and I can't actually make the measurement. So it took me four months to repair my HP 339A, but I finally did get it repaired. And so now we can finally make the distortion measurement of the 200 CD. So here's the setup. We have the output of the 200 CD connected through a 600 ohm termination into the input of the 339A. Um, we have it set to times 100 frequency range and 10 on the dial. So that's one kilohertz frequency. Um, our input range is set to 10 volts, and we are measuring exactly 10 volts RMS. I have the amplitude now with the 200 CD set to like 90%. So it will put out a little bit more than 10 volts RMS into a 600 ohm termination. But we have it dialed up to exactly 10 volts RMS. When we switch to distortion mode and make our distortion measurement, It looks like we have a distortion of negative uh, 58.0 dB. So the spec on the 200 CD is, um, well, it's not specified in decibels. It's specified in percent. So the spec at 1 kilohertz should be less than 0.2% distortion. And in percentage, our distortion is measuring... Um, 0 0.1, 1, 0 0.125, 0 0.125% distortion, which is less than 0.2% distortion. So our 200 CD is within its distortion spec, at least at one kilohertz. So I can finally make my measurement after all this time. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I believe this will be my last video of 2024, so I wanted to wish you all uh, a happy new year and hope to see you again in 2025 with more fun videos of vintage Hewlett Packard test equipment and other cool stuff. Thanks for allowing me to share my hobby with you all and I hope to see you again in the coming year. Thanks again.